What's going on fam? This is where you at bro, here to bring to you another workout. And today we're working out chest and back and this is the fifth day of Kyle Green's mass program. This is also week four through six. All right, so let's go ahead and hit these things. All right, fans, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. To start this whole thing out, we're gonna get started with incline press on the Smith machine. All right, let's go ahead and get it. Right, guys that was superb that was a nice burn if you didn't know because you didn't check the description now for incline bench we did six rounds so if you thought you was doing three or four nah you're doing six so that's why I'm a little winded right now because I take a 45 second break in between each one and I just keep working things out so even though I only got 205 on that thing I'm tired because one, I concentrated the primary muscle, which is my chest muscle, pectoral muscle, and I squeezed inward, as I always say before, I squeeze inward to make sure that primary muscle is pushing up the weight. And then on top of that, I keep a nice, steady tempo and keep my form on point. If you do it that way, trust me, you'll be a little wounded also. And you'll feel like 45 seconds is not enough time for your body to recuperate and get the energy it needs to push the weight up. But, Either way, I got it done, I did slack, I pushed it out. Now we're moving on to chest dips. You know, the one that I don't like, but now I'm perfecting the move. So I'm excited about that. Let's go ahead and hit that workout. See, your boy is getting better at that chest dip, chest dip. I'm excited because listen, I told y'all, y'all see me the first day I did this thing. I had horrible form. Now, it's still not the best form, but you can see that I'm getting better at it. So anyway, now we're moving on to incline dumbbell flies. I'm excited about that one. Okay, let's go. Alright guys, so he's finished up doing incline dumbbell flies. Now, you sure already know what the cues were. It's there are to make sure your abs or your core is tight. Make sure at the top of the movement, you're trying to bring your elbows to meet each other to get a nice squeeze and pop. 
into your chest area, to your pectoral area, and then you slowly bring the weight back down. Now, I'm not sure if you were able to tell, but when I got to the top, I tried to squeeze my chest to get that extra little burn in there. Make sure you do the same thing. It'll go a long way if you can make sure you remember those little cues. And again, guys, we want to make sure we stay safe while doing this. If you ever need help on remembering what you need to do while you're doing the workout, make sure you check the description out down below. Look at it, you know, use it, stop the video, read it, and go right back into it. Because we want to make sure, guys, that you're maximizing that much of your time doing the movement as possible. We don't want you to leave any kind of gains on table one, maximize as much of our efforts into the movement as possible. All right, so now we get ready to move on to a single arm dumbbell row. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we just finished doing the rows. Now we're getting ready to do flat dumbbell press. Now we get to the top. Again, try to squeeze your pecs together. Keep your abs, meaning your core, tight. That way, guys, you're stabilizing your body, you're keeping your back safe, and you're doing the movement correctly. Now, there's one thing I want to say in regards to the dumbbell rows. And every once in a while, you want to try to hang your arm a little bit lower than possible, like overreaching it. A lot of fun to have no one every once in a while because you're stretching out that muscle. And again, you're stretching out that muscle, the more you stretch it out, the better the movement will be in regards to you building that strength and also sculpting that um that muscle. And on top of that, you're doing more of a micro tear in that area. You're overextending it. Now, some movements you don't need to overextend because you can really injure yourself when it comes to your shoulder, you know, um, and different movements in, in, in that area. So Certain movements, you want to kind of overstretch it a little bit to get more of a burn, more of um, and sculpting that muscle as much as possible. But some movements, you want to keep away from doing it. Like for example, when you're doing anything that involves your um, your your shoulder area, you don't want to overextend certain ones. So I'll try to point out which ones you need to overextend on and other ones that you need to stay away from because you really don't want to injure yourself depending on what the movements are. Anyway, we're getting ready to do flat dumbbell press. And when we get to the top, you're gonna see me try to turn it in a little bit, just give a little more emphasis on that muscle. All right, so let's go ahead and hit this movement. fam moving on we have two more movements to finish this thing out now we're gonna do lat pull down guys lat pull down and then the next one be seated cable rows but it's not a super set i'm just letting you know what the last two movements are so let's go ahead and hit these lat pull downs all right let's go
All right, guys, we're on our last movement. We're doing seated cable row. Yes, let's go. Fam, that's the end of today's workout. This was day five of Kyle Green's mass program, four through six weeks. We just smashed that bad boy. If you need more information on how to do each movement, check the description out down below. Also, give your boy a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and share the video with somebody else. As always, this is where you at, bro. Signing out. Peace. See you in the next workout. Yeah, yeah.